You open up a box that hasn't been opened in a decade, and you're like, what's going to be in here? Could it be the weirdest tape you've ever seen? Could it be, you know, 100 copies of Jurassic Park? You don't know. When Alamo Drafthouse purchased the 55,000-ish VHS and DVD catalog of the now-closed Lower East Side video rental shop, Kim's Video, it recruited co-founder and host of the VHS-based comedy show, The Found Footage Festival, and longtime Kim's member, Nick Pruer, to curate the collection. It's like a treasure hunt. That hunt's yielded thousands of titles one cannot find on any streaming service. The, uh, the Turkish version of E.T. But the lower Manhattan Liberty Street location of Alamo Drafthouse now offers as free rentals. We have uh, VCRs for rent and they're digital compatible. General manager of this draft house, Nick Asani, oversees this Kim's reboot and has marveled both at the breadth and depth of the collection. One of my favorites is Computer Beach Party. It's a uh, forgotten 80s beach comedy that is barely a movie. And the public's interest in some of the odder movies ever made. They may not even own the hardware to play at home. From the day we opened, there's been people that come in not to see movies, but are here just to look through Kim's video. The new Kim's rented out more than 150 titles the first weekend it opened. A lot of the old clerks from Kim's video showed up. Those veterans reminisced on the original shop's quarter century in business and greeted films they hadn't seen available anywhere else since Kim's closed in 2012. There's NYU student films that ended up our collection from now famous film directors. Alyssa Milano's Teen Steam is this late 80s at the height of her uh, Who's the Boss popularity. She did a, like a workout video. Both Pruer and Asani expect the number of rentals offered here to grow and change as they wade deeper into the Kim's archive and devise new ways of organizing films most have never even heard of. We're going to keep working through it. I mean, we have cases and cases of stuff in the back. It's like pallets of boxes that we just haven't gotten to yet. While rentals are free, late fees run at $2 per day. In Lower Manhattan, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.